All right, Judah, we are going to start hooking things up, but from a safety standpoint, this is 50 some volts and you probably don't want to get shocked by that. Although it's considered low voltage, it might not be the most fun. So I've got some gloves here that will help insulate your hands, but we'll still treat everything as hot. So first take off all your jewelry, take off your wedding ring. No wedding ring? No. Okay, well, I'll take mine off. All right, put those on. We'll start wiring stuff up. This is the speed controller and it controls the power that goes to the motor. And it used to have a cord like this in it to connect your old battery. I swapped that out with an Anderson connector so that we can plug in our new circuit breaker, okay? Mm -hmm. Circuit breaker is mounted on this piece of plexiglass. The battery is strapped down to the go-kart. So we're just gonna slide this under that strap. There we go. Now that's secure and under normal circumstances, we could connect the positive lead here and the negative lead here. And then when you want to charge it, you would connect this to your charger. And when you want to drive, you connect these together. Mm -hmm. And let's just make sure the breaker is off. So we don't get zapped. Yep, yeah, off is down, up is on. Now you can tell because it says that, but also because it's really easy to turn it off and it's a little bit harder to turn it on. So we'll put it in off position while we're wiring things up. We want to add this shunt so we can take some data while we're driving. To do that, we're going to put it in between the negative and the negative battery post. Okay? Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to connect up is the positive wire because when you connect the positive wire, if the negative is already connected, usually that's connected to the chassis. And if you came across this metal post and some part of the chassis, it might arc. Okay, so we're going to connect the positive post first. Unthread that screw there. Don't lose it. A little harder to do with gloves on, right? Yeah, yeah. but safety first. Yeah, that's good. Now, when we put it in, we want to make sure that it's not clamping this insulation because that would prevent a good solid contact. And then one other thing, if these aren't tight, then you'll have resistance and that can cause heat and we don't want heat. So this is a torque screwdriver and we can set the amount of torque we want to set this to. We're going to use five Newton meters for this. So all you have to do is tighten it down and it'll beep at you when you get it tight enough. All right. All right. Give it a shot. You might need two hands. It takes a lot. There you go. Until you hear it beep, solid beep. There. Okay. You got it. Now we'll just slide this uh, rubber silicone insulator. boot over the top of it. Now it's pretty unlikely we'll touch this. We don't want to touch this to anything else. Okay. So we're good there now. Now we're gonna put this shunt in and this will measure power for us. So you can pull those two stickers off and then we will, we need it to be battery on this lead and power on this one. So we're gonna stick this right about there, okay? There you go. Okay. Just stick it down. There you go. Okay, take that nut off. Now there's two washers there. One's the lock washer and one's a regular flat washer and they both come off. Then slide them back on. Need a little bit smaller glove for you, don't we? Yep. We're going to pull this so that the insulation isn't under it. Okay, and then feed that nut on there. Somebody... Yep, Why do so I keep dropping things so today? That's where they go. They go on the floor. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? There's one thing that we forgot, and that was... We need this positive lead for this to give it power off the power, off the that's positive side. Easy. That goes in here. Right, before we connect the negative, we need to put the positive lead on the positive terminal. Muscle scope. There you go. Let's put a little boot back on. Now we have power to our shunt. Now we can hook up the negative terminal. Yep, slide that on. Put all your washers on. Then take that one off, and we'll put the negative lead that goes to the go-kart on that end. Stack them back on there. Yep, you got it. The right order. Let's tighten it up. Okay, it's good. Do that one. Okay, okay. Now we'll do this one. All right. Slide this little boot up. Eventually, this will go on the battery terminal, but we can put it on here for now. Now we can connect this communication cable. There you go. Plug that into there, and then plug this end into there. Here we go. All right. Look at that. Powered up. So it's telling us right now that we're at 53.3 volts. 
has a little light. So once this thing learns what the level of the battery is, then it will tell mm -hmm. us in here, okay? We can route this up here so we know what's going on. So I can sneak it through like there. Yeah, that's a good it idea. Let's sneak it through there. That way the rest of the cable can just sit in there. Yeah. Now for the moment, we don't have a mount for this, so we'll... Double-sided sticky tape. I think you got it. Double-sided sticky tape. I was thinking we could pop the wire through that hole right here. Yeah, I think you're right. We could do that. All right, peel that off, then center that over the hole and stick it like that. There you go. It's a little bit crooked, but... That's okay. You want me to clip through this? Here you go. Try that. Okay. Go. Nice job. Now everything's wired up, breakers off. You can connect the battery to the go-kart. Push hard until it clicks. There you go. Okay, now open that box. Okay, push the breaker up. Close the lid. All right, let's go up to the front and see if it turns on. Turn the key. Look at that, power. Let's uh, try and drive it. Looks like your tire needs some air. Let's fix that and then we'll give it a, dr a run, all right? All right. It's test time. Ready? All right, let's go.